Hey guys, Ariel came here and uh, today it is amazingly hot outside and uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to talk to you about uh, a really important training concept, one of the best training modalities and that is interval training. So in case you are unfamiliar with what interval training is, I thought you know what, it would be a great, uh, great opportunity to come to my local track, not that I'm going to be running laps or anything, but you know just in kind of a setting to show you how interval training works. Now essentially interval training is, um, is a type of cardiovascular activity exercise where you integrate bouts of high intensity and low intensity exercise. So for instance, if I'm on the track, I might be uh, sprinting for 100 meters followed by a recovery for 300 meters. So I, I would total the 400 meters, that would be one interval, right? Um, that's just one example. There's really thousands of different ways you can um, you can play around with intervals depending on your fitness level. Uh, but the beautiful thing about interval training is that it's very quick, it's very time efficient. So instead of you know running around the track or on the treadmill or wherever you are, you know, for 30, 45 minutes or longer, you can get much greater cardiovascular endurance running benefits in literally a third of the time. So I'm just going to give you an example of something that I would do. Uh, obviously as a strength coach at the University of Toronto with the men's soccer program, we have access to a track pretty much all year round. So one of the things that we do in the off season is we'll do things, um, we'll do different different types of intervals around the track. So I'll give you a couple examples here. So um, much of obviously our team is more advanced than the, than the beginner level, so this wouldn't be applicable for beginners, but something we would do would be, um, again, as I mentioned earlier, we do a, a 100 meter sprint, obviously after a good warm up, you know, we're, you know, that's very important to do. So we get our 100 meter sprint in, we'd recover for 100 meters, we'd go for 100 meters, recover for 100 meters, and we'd just repeat that for a number of different, you know, a number of different times, depending on the length and the duration of our specific workout. Now, another thing that we could do, and I don't know if you can see this, is just behind me is a soccer field. And another way of incorporating interval training, let's say you have a field uh, by your local health, by your, you know, where you live, and you don't have a track. Maybe you wanna run on the grass, and actually running on grass is better for you anyways. Um, so here's another idea you can do with interval training. This is again, something I use with a lot of our soccer players, is you take the width of the field, okay? And that would be your work bout. And then the length of the field would be your recovery. So you're working maybe half the duration or the half the distance that you're actually recovering, right? Because the width is not as long, obviously, as the length, okay? So again, you know, you may wanna go for 10 minutes, sprint the width, recover the length, okay? So a nice easy jog on the recovery. Sprint the width, recover on the length, okay? So that's one, just a couple different ways you can do interval training, whether it's on the track or on the grass at a soccer field. And again, if you're on the treadmill, it's very, very similar. You know, you could pick bouts of time where it's like, I'm gonna go 30 seconds hard, one minute to recover, and basically it's sprinting, jogging, sprinting, jogging, okay? Again, as I mentioned earlier, there's thousands and thousands of different combinations with interval training, but the beautiful thing is that you get a great amount of work done, okay? So you're actually teaching and training your body how to run faster uh, because you're working at a higher percentage of your maximum speed, right? You're not just going for a nice easy jog, you're actually sprinting or running fast, which is great for performance enhancement. Uh, if you're in sports, obviously it's all athletes use interval training. And if you're looking to burn fat, interval training is the way to go because again, you're getting a lot of work done in a short amount of time. You're working at a higher percentage of your maximum. That means that your body is gonna be utilizing more fuel. It's gonna be burning calories. It's gonna boost your metabolism. And some studies have shown this up to 36 hours post interval training. This is only with 20 minutes of interval training. So imagine this, you do an interval training workout for about 15 minutes. You go back home, you go to the office, do whatever you have to do, and your metabolism is now cranked up at a much higher level for 36 hours after your workout. And that's what I call passive caloric expenditure, where you've done the work, and now the big benefits are coming after you've done the workout. So that's pretty cool. So um, a lot of stuff to talk about with interval training. I'm actually gonna be putting a couple of videos together on this topic because there's a lot of stuff I wanna cover. Um, but I just wanted to introduce the concept to you in this video and uh, in the next video we'll be talking a little bit more specifically about some different things related to interval training uh, and again if you want if you want some really great interval training workouts you can actually have me on your headphones to guide you through your training sessions and um, thanks to the good old mp3 player 
I uh, developed a series of programs called my, the Treadmill Trainer Running Workouts, and these are, well, my headphones are all mangled up here, but essentially, these are audio guided workouts where you have me on your headphones and I, you know, we could be working out on the track together and instead of worrying about how long to go for, what speeds to go at, I tell you everything. Just press play and you'll have my voice on your headphones with some awesome running music to tell you when to speed up, when to slow down and we have workouts for all levels, whether you're a beginner or even, you know, if you want to run your next marathon. So, uh, the website for that is mytreadmilltrainer.com. Go check it out. we got lots of great stuff, lots of great information as well. And in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video.